Hi everyone, my name is Willow Rose Moon Dancer. I make videos here on YouTube about Wicca and I have a blog called WiccanStartWiccan.com. So last week we started talking about various methods of divination and today I would like to go further into what tassiography is. So tassiography is like a fancy word for a uh, tea leaf reading. Um, it's a form of divination obviously. <laughs> Um, and it's when you look at pictures that are created on, within a teacup um, and you take those images and you interpret them using your intuition to decide what the message is that is being told to you. Um, it, can be, it can be tea leaves. If you don't like tea, you can also use coffee grounds or you can use wine sediments. Um, you can do uh, tastiography on yourself. You can also do it on others. Um, whoever the drinker of the beverage is, is, that person is typically the person who is getting the reading done on them. So, there are numerous steps into how to properly do tastiography. The first one is having the proper cup. It is traditional to have a teacup with a plain white interior. Um, you can technically use any type of cup, um, mug or anything like that, um, but white is easier to see the images on and with a teacup their wide and shallow and sloping sides make it easier to see the images. Um, but there are, however, special tassiography um, teacups that you can get um, for if you're a more advanced reader. Um, and then you have to have the right type of leaves. So having a fine to medium um, size tea leaf is best. Uh, you'll be able to see the images a lot better. Um, and if you make it in a teapot, when you are pouring it into your cup, don't strain the leaves, uh, just let them flow into the cup. And if you are doing it in the teacup, then you just pour the water over the loose tea leaves. So when you want to prepare the area for the reading, um, you want to find somewhere comfy and where there aren't going to be any distractions. Um, you can have a t you want to have a, some sort of tabletop. Uh, you can have a tablecloth or altar cloth if you would like. Um, and you can also uh, cast a circle if you wish, or do a protective prayer before, if you want to make sure that any negative influences uh, stay out of your reading. Um, you can drink your tea as usual, but you need to make sure that you leave about a teaspoon-ish of uh, tea at the bottom. And if you don't like tea, um, that's okay. You don't have to drink it. Um, you can just put a teaspoon of leaves in your cup with a teaspoon of liquid, and that'll be fine. Um, so... You want to get the person to think about their question after they finish drinking their tea. And then from here, we are going to pan over to my altar and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so we have had our tea. Um, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take the cup in our left hand, like so, and we're going to swish it three times. So one, two, three. And then we are going to bring it back over to our um, saucer. We are going to think about the question that we have. So my question is, how is my 2019 going to go? Then, with your left hand still, you are going to flip the cup. Then, with your left hand, you are going to rotate the cup three times. So, one two, three. 
three. And when you are rotating this cup, you are rotating it with your left hand to the left. And then when you flip the cup over, you want to make sure that the handle is pointing at the person who asks the question. So it's pointing at me because I'm right here. And then we are going to lift the cup up with our left hand and flip it over. And when you do the reading, you want to continue to make sure that the handle is facing the person who asked the question. Okay, so now we have my, uh, my tea leaves all set out the way that they're meant to be. I will show you what we're looking at. So, when you read your tea leaves, you want, uh, the, you have to remember that the placement is important. So, there's numerous ways to go about this. So, the first one would be looking at distance. So, anything at the top of your cup would be considered to be in the near future. And as you go down, you're getting farther and farther into the distant future. Another option to look at is severity. So anything at the bottom would be an ill omen, whereas anything closer to the top would be a more joyful omen. Then you have to think about the handle. So the handle is referred to as the domain. And anything that is near the handle may be related to your home life or family. Um, the further away from the handle that it is, the more outside the issue is. Um, if it's opposite the handle, then it's possible that it's about work or a stranger. If it's in between, um, it could be about a non-immediate family member or possibly a friend of a friend. Um, if it's to the right, it could be uh, about something the asker has something coming to them. And if it's to the left, it could be something that is coming from the asker. Or it's coming, yeah, from the domain. Um, if there's a big clump at the bottom, like there is in mine, it could be meaning that there is trouble on the way. Um, if it's opposite of the handle, it's not necessarily of your making. But if it is underneath the handle, kind of like mine is, mine's a little bit, it's close to underneath the handle. It's slightly to the left a little bit, but that could mean that it is a trouble caused by yourself. Um, if there's any extra liquid, um, those could, like, little, like, little droplets of extra liquid, that can be considered tears to symbolize a past or future sadness. Um, and this is all dependent on the context of the reading. So now that we have that in mind, it is now time to look at the patterns and use your intuition to find shapes within the leaves. Um, I'll get to that in a second. So just because you see an image doesn't mean that everybody else who looks at that image is going to see the same thing. Um, but that's okay. You just have to use your intuition because you are the one doing the reading and that's all that matters. So I am just going to take a quick look into my cup and see if I see anything worth mentioning. I ha I notice here that I have quite a few clumps on the outside of my cup. So that is definitely something that I'm going to have to look up to see what that means. Um, I honestly don't have a lot of leaves up at the top of my cup. Um, I'll show you here. Just a second. So... As you can see, I just have that little bit right there, and I'm looking at it, and I don't see many shapes. I think it's possible that I may see a skull. Um, 
Um, and then the further I look down, the more clumps I see. Like I see another skull further down. Um, yeah, those are the two main things I see. I'm also not super experienced in tea leaf reading. Like, I know how to do it, but I'm not very um, skilled yet in the art of reading. Um, let me see if I see any shapes in the tea leaves outside of my cup. No, just big clumps. Um, and then I definitely do have um, some leftover liquid. And then I have quite a big clump underneath slightly to the left of my cup. So... Once you have distinguished all the different symbols, where they're located at, and what their relevance could be, you need to know what those images mean. And there are lots of sources online. Um, some sources will have different um, interpretations of what the different images means. And at that point, it's just up to you to decide with your intuition um, which um, version of um, the image you think is in your picture or in your cup. So I will go look up the meanings of what I see in my cup and I will be right back. So I looked into what the skulls mean and a skull has a lot to do with the brain and so it means that you will find success through concentration. Um, so to me that means my first skull is kind of like in the top middle-ish middle -ish section. Um, and to me I guess that means that it's not quite in the distant future and not quite near. So it, that, that success due to my concentration and focus is coming somewhere in between. And then my second skull is directly across from my handle, which often means that it can be through work. And since I just got a new job, that makes sense. And it's closer to the bottom, which means that that success from my focus and concentration, I'm going to see more likely in the distant future, probably closer to the end of the year. Um, and since I have more than one skull, so they're scattered within, um, it also means that I am being blessed from the divine this year. So that is good news, I suppose. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't seem to find any information about what it would mean when you have leaves outside of your cup. So it's quite possible that they just don't mean anything, or maybe they do and people just haven't been talking about it. So if you have any insight on what it could mean to have tea leaves on the outside of your cup, please let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, um, I just have that big glob of leaves close to underneath my handle, which means that in the distant future, it would appear to me that I'm going to be causing some trouble. So hopefully we can get that sorted out. Um, with any divination, I firmly believe that anything that you get in a reading does not mean that it is 100% going to happen. It just means if you continue the path that you're on, that it will happen. So I definitely believe that if you do a reading and you don't like the answers for any type of divination, you can change that by altering your course. Um, but I believe that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments um, what your uh, experiences are with Tassiography. Um, but yeah, um, make sure you follow me on my blog, wickedsartwicked.com. I make posts every Wednesday and Friday. 
And make sure you subscribe to me here because I make videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, blessed be.